Hey guys, welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare this Monday. We'll be taking a look at the community update from Friday, January the 31st, which is kind of a bit of a rehash of information that we do know, along with some newer information. And of course, some information that was maybe intentionally or unintentionally leaked by Call of Duty themselves. Before we get started, I would like to welcome all of you who are new here to the channel, along with returning visitors. Your guys' participation here on the channel is greatly appreciated. As we take a look at the community news on Friday, it is pretty much what we have discussed from last week. However, I did want to point out that they said they have corrected the Season 0 emblems as of 1-29-2020. So, hopefully all of you guys that were having issues with that specifically, that has now been corrected. So, the biggest news over the weekend, of course, was the leaked information on the official Call of Duty website, where they released the Season 2 Battle Pass information, along with two additional new weapons, and a reveal of Ghost once again. Now, if you check out my video from Wednesday, which I'll link up here in the top right-hand corner, we see the Call of Duty tweet where there was a video that gives confirmation of Ghost, there's a little bit of a teaser, some hints, and then at the end of it, it says, Ghost Confirmed. It doesn't take long for a very enthusiastic community of gamers, particularly those here in Call of Duty, to come across information and then disseminate that information on social media, particularly when it comes from the official website over a weekend when official news isn't typically released. So there were some very vigilant people that were probably just cruising the uh, community news and information like we do here as YouTube creators who came across this. And then, of course, it went like wildfire across social media. But as you can see here from the season two, we see the battle pass in-game information, which includes the battle pass. And as you can see there in the front, that would be Ghost, which was part of the information that we were teased by from the Call of Duty tweet that you can see from my Wednesday video. And then to the right, the Battle Pass bundle for 2,400 COD points. Now, we don't know what all that entails, but in a moment, I'll get into some of the additional information that was also released. Along with the Battle Pass information, we see that there'll be two new base weapons, the Graw 556 and the Striker 45, or the UMP 45, an SMG that I particularly like and have used in other first-person shooters. So it's going to be really cool to see that we're going to get two new SMGs. Along with weapons, we can, of course, always anticipate that there will be blueprints. As of now, we only see that the Mark II is shown from the material that was captured from the official website. But, of course, we can probably anticipate there'll be quite a bit. And I personally do like some of the blueprints that have been offered. And in the last image, we see that 80 additional items will be added to the Battle Pass, which will include COD points and just the typical items that we have anticipated throughout the Battle Pass. That was pretty much the extent of the captured information from the official website. Now, I typically don't share leaked information, but if community members are vigilant, they come across the official website official news is on there and they want to share it in the community, then I think that's fair game. And of course, this is all being shared across social media from some of my fellow content creators nonetheless. Now, we didn't learn any additional information. Now, there is a teaser trailer out right now that looks like it's showing rust and maybe even scrapyard. So those are some potential new maps that could be coming along with some additional 6v6 or even 2v2 gameplay. So Perhaps by Monday, we'll have some additional information. I am recording this on Sunday, but I do like to compile as much information as I can over the weekend for you guys on the Monday releases. So that's going to wrap it up for this look at the community update news from Friday, January the 31st, as well as information that was leaked over the weekend. I would encourage you guys now to click that like button and, of course, appearing there on the screen, that would be the obligatory channel icon to subscribe along with clicking notifications. And if you guys are following this on BitChute and or DTube, be sure to give me a follow there as well. That way you guys will have all the latest information out of Call of Duty Modern Warfare.